Gary from victory in week one of the playoffs. You must be delighted with that result. Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah, it was a it's a tough one. We didn't start particularly well, you know, going behind to two tries to ones. I think the conditions had a lot to do with that. Um, but really pleased with the, with the character that we showed to get back in the game. And and I thought, you know, once we got in front, we didn't look like losing then. And um, just a hell, like I say, ton of character, uh, great great determination, team spirit, teamwork, whatever you want to call it. I thought it was there in abundance today. Yeah, and obviously Huns that were, were so quick out the blocks, yeah. getting those early tries. Yeah. Was, that, was that something you expected? Obviously, they, they wanted to come out quickly, firing on all cylinders. Yeah, yeah, we did, and especially with the conditions. And they, they won the they won the toss to kick off, so we knew that first set was going to be intense, and it was. Uh, their line speed was incredible, and forced an error on us. And then you know we just we just didn't we started a little bit sloppy, and I thought we were just trying to do things that we don't normally do. But um, once once the message got on, and let's just keep going direct at them and find find quick rooks and. And then we benefit on the back of that with with without you know we've got some skillful players in our team so once we got a roll on I thought you know they they took full advantage of that so yeah but but really good in tough conditions you know that that, that did play a part uh, against a gritty gritty unslept team who defended well at times so um, yeah yeah and it's typical of playoff football I think yeah you, you spoke about the conditions there obviously that that will dictate it to quite a large extent how how you had to play your game today but even so you, you did well shifting the ball out wide and obviously making some of those openings especially down the, the left edge yeah we did you know and, and, and like i said there earlier we are a skillful team and you know lewis on the, that left edge has had a fantastic season but he's got a great partnership with with miles and, and with 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 um with fours and and, and and you know luke so that that left edge has been a threat all season for us so we wanted to carry on playing we don't you know obviously, obviously the conditions play a part but we didn't want to stop how we play because that's that's how we play and uh, and I didn't think you know I thought once we got to grips with that we we, we did we did really well um, but I have a special mention mention to the bench I thought this the middle especially Killen and 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 Jordan and uh, they were they, they were superb and uh, Dean Roberts when they came off the bench I thought they really changed the game in that first half and that's that's how we got ourselves back in the football back in the game and then as I said a lead that we never lost yeah and obviously with, with the conditions being as they were it really was a game for the game for the forwards and, and mm. some of some of your men the guys that you just mentioned they, they grabbed the game by the scruff of the neck didn't they they did yeah yeah and we spoke you know we do speak about that you know we always said to challenge our middles that when you come off the bench let's be better than the starting middles and I thought you know I thought I thought they were very good although you know we started we start our starting middles were good as well but um yeah like i said lots of grit lots of determination lots of togetherness and, and that's kind of been what we've been building all season for and that's it's a special group you know we all work really hard for each other and um, and i think we you know that's showing in the way that we're playing and to come back at, you know from a 10 point deficit win today against a decent unslit side showed that character yeah what what was the message at half time obviously you go in slightly ahead was it a case of kind of sticking to your processes playing out the sets and that kind of having that extra bit of game management to see where the ex line? exactly that you know I, I said to them at half time we don't have to win this game twice you know you know they, they've got to they've got to come out now and try and try and take the game to us and i said we just need to uh, just just keep going through the processes try and score first if we can and put a two score gap in front of them and 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 then just manage the game well and you know, I thought you and Mackenzie and 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 Elsie were very good at that, and Greg out the back at managing the game. And um, yeah, as I said, for 70 minutes, I thought we were very, very good. Uh, take that starting 10 out, we'll have to have a look at that. But I think we probably forced the issue a little bit too much there. But for 70 minutes, I thought we were good. Yeah, and a special word for Mackenzie as well. Obviously, he came into the group obviously a little bit later in the season. Is is a young lad still learning his trade, but he, but he did some really good things, and he showed real maturity, especially towards the end with some of those kicks to touch. Absolutely, you know, he's been. Fantastic for us. He's coming, as you've rightly said there. He's coming to our group late and he's settled straight in. Um, he's bought into our ethos. He's bought into what we're all about. He works incredibly hard, uh, and he's got some talent and some skill as well. So it's fitting. You know, we 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 were worried when we lost Riddick because Riddick's so integral to everything we do. Um, but he's come in and, and 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 done really well for himself. So you know, we, we we're pleased with that. We, we're pleased that we've got him all the way through the playoff series as well because he's been a massive benefit to us. Um, and you know, let me, let me continue. You know, we're having a fantastic run, and uh, hopefully, it can carry on going into the playoffs and go all the way. Hopefully, yeah. And obviously, as you, you mentioned, the playoffs there, it doesn't get any easier in week two. The playoffs are a big, a big trip to come. But obviously, you, you, you know what your group's about, and confidence, as, as we saw in the change room at full time, their confidence is really high. Yeah, it is. And, and you know, it, like I said, it's a great group of players. This, they, they, they work really hard for each other. We don't have any superstars we don't have anybody that thinks they're bigger than anybody else we just have a group of blokes that want to work out for each other and if you've got that in your changing rooms you know it's, it's like having an extra man really um but we've beaten keithley already i think they'll be probably a little bit more afraid of us than we are of them to be honest we're, we're, we're riding the high at the minute and their confidence is massive so we go there really confident and um you know if we can turn them over you, you, you just never know but i don't think this group of players are done yet i think we're going to go all the way i really do